Hello there. Welcome to my crash course on the Grand Mat 2 Lighting Console. As you can see, I am all set up and ready to share my knowledge with you. This console may seem intimidating at first, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, it's quite simple. So let's start from the beginning, shall we? The first thing you need to do is turn on the console. You can do this by pressing the power button located on the top right-hand corner of the console. Once the console is powered on, you will see the main menu screen. This is where you can access all the features and functions of the console. Now let's dive into the basics of the Grand Matwa. The console has four main sections the encoder wheels, the playback section, the command keys, and the touchscreen. The encoder wheels control different parameters such as intensity color and position of the lights. The playback section is where you can store and access pre-programmed lighting cues. The command keys allow you to access different functions and menus on the console. And the touch screen is where you can make changes to your cues and settings. Now let's try programming a simple cue. First, select the light fixture you want to program using the encoder wheels or the touch screen. adjust the parameters of the light using the encoder wheels. For example, I can change the color of the light by using the color wheel on the touchscreen, then adjust the parameters of the light using the encoder wheels. For example, I can change the color of the light by using the color wheel on the touchscreen. Once you have set your desired parameters, press the record button on the playback section and then press an empty playback button to save the cue. And there you have it, your first programmed cue. You can now playback this cue by pressing the assigned playback button. This is a basic example, but the Grand May 2 offers endless possibilities for creating stunning light shows. Now, it's important to remember that practice makes perfect. So don't be afraid to experiment and play around with the console to get a better understanding of its capabilities.